Good day everyone, welcome to the Channel Investment University. In here we teach three pillars of learning. Disruption, data analysis, due diligence. And I'm here to do some analysis to the financial instrument VeChain. Uh, VeChain, I have three videos previously that uh, mentioned about the price dynamic and price actions of VeChain technical analysis of B-Chain, the long-term move of B-Chain, and everything that relates to the price action of B-Chain. So you can hit like, subscribe to my channel for more in-depth update and break it down to you, the B-Chain. You know? uh, today, this is today is December 18, and uh, the market is very optimistic. The digital cryptocurrency market is very optimistic that uh, it will break the 20,000 US dollars for Bitcoin. It did, it is reaching 22,000. Now, uh, as for the VeChain, the price of VeChain is 0 0.016, 0 0.17 wallowing on that uh, uh, price range. You know? And uh, yesterday we have seen a sudden move to 0 0.018. We will also backtest some of the predictions that was made by a masters in financial market. And today I uh, is December 18, and uh, Tanya Avrosimova uh, is a cryptocurrency editor at FX Street with experience in financial market with vast experience covering macroeconomics. Economics is part of certified financial analyst uh, subject for the examinations and the forex news. So is into crypto into currency, the fiat currency since 2002. Uh, he has she has a profound skill in fundamental analysis, copywriting, and content creation. So she has been in the forex business. Uh, since 2002, a translator from a Russian based broker. Uh, Tanya has been in the cryptocurrency business in 2016. I was in in 2015. She is, her education is a master's in uh, English philosophy and certificate of teacher of English as a second language from the Voronezh State Teachers Training University in Russia. And she is doing this uh, technical analysis for us today. Now I am a physician, a, a board certified physician, uh, financial analyst, as well as a Securities and Exchange Commission uh, investment solicitor. Uh, basically, I'm not selling anything here. It's just that uh, I'm doing some fundamental analysis of a favorite financial instrument that I have. I have been to Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, uh, Tezos, uh, Tron, all of those coins and uh, luckily I have to see the importance, I mean see the value of BeChain in the crypto market and continue to give updates on this financial instrument. Now. Uh, According to Tanya, he says that beaching price can retest 0 0.25 if this vital resistance give way. Uh, first of all, if most of the institutions are not looking into that number, okay? Before we talk 0 0.025, we are talking about 0 0.018 because that's the level of resistance wherein we have tried so many times to test and retest that. In fact, uh, uh, Waldrin Tahiri noted that there was a rejection and it did happen in December 8. So after the rejection, it would like to find a support. And he was saying that VeChain is trading inside the 0 0.18. So 0 0.18 to 0 0.25, 0 0.25 is not the range of significance uh, we are talking. No, uh, we are talking. Okay, the proposition by Baldrin Tahiri that if it will touch 0 0.018 and move from that level, then we talk about 0 0.25. Technical analysis on that day shows a bearish turn of event 
and it says that it will lead still within the parallel ascending channel but uh, during that time it was in the upper half of the ascending channel it go down to the ascending channel it escaped and he says maybe this could be uh, a sudden sharp drop just like in September October of 2002 but it did not happen and we also say yes it can happen but it seems like more buyers are coming to support it at the level of 018 so we are also back testing uh, this information here now uh, BJ te technical picture suggests the token is poised for recovery okay after rejection there is a construct for a recovery there was no impulsive movement to break it again it took a while a period interval of one week and we are back to the price of 0 0.016 now this does not this uh, technical uh, analysis may not affect those who are uh, huddlers or long time uh, investors but for those who are playing this in an intraday intraday uh, basis uh, day traders or swing traders uh, this uh, price are important for maximum profit potentials so hear me out as I break it down to you further she says that uh, VET needs to stay at 0 0.16 to confirm bullish stance. December 15, December 16, 17, 18, and going December 19, it has never touched down to that level since it has twice twat, uh, it has touched twice to 0 0.15. In fact, yesterday, a sudden piercing to the 0 0.018 level unexpectedly happened as the price of Bitcoin goes up. Now, VeChain is changing at 0 0.16 and having gained 2,000% at the time of writing, it's okay. Uh, the big picture here is the VeChain is locked in ascending triangle. It's ascending in a four hour chart. True, everyone notes that. But she mentioned the word lock. There was one time that it escaped from that level but it goes back up there and it continues to maintain the 0 0.16 now in all in the balance of probability I can say at this point we are done with the rejections we are on the recovery mood we have retested the 0 0.18 and it will go up because there's more room to go up we have been down to as low as 0 0.16 we have reached 0 0.18 temporarily and did not find a support there. The current price of the uh, VET instrument is 0 0.017. Once it will retest 0 0.18, stays there, goes to 19 and 0 0.25 is very, very uh, a level that is so close to reality. By the way, I would like to uh, tell you for those of you who do not have a knowledge of the fundamentals of how it is to do a price prediction, uh, to do a to, to get the derivative of the price of a financial instrument, you have to divide the market capital by the circulating by the circulating uh, supply of the coin. For example, we have a one billion capital for the B chain, and we have about 64 uh, 64 billion uh, market supply a uh, circulating supply so you divide that you get a 0 0.016 uh, US dollar price so if one is predicting that it will reach a one dollar you are looking at 80 billion 80 billion uh, market capitalization now tell me how many in the crypto world has an 80 billion market capitalization the most that we have are ethereum uh, ripple uh, passing the 80 billion mark so if the chain would have more institutional investors more billionaires coming to buy this product and it will reach an 80 billion market capital and let us say an 80 billion supply at a time maybe 2021 2022 
that is really possible. Now, if uh, bit, if V chain would reach a level of two to a four billion to a four billion market capital, the price, the capital for Cardano, then it might uh, it might be around the price of zero point uh, zero point zero. 0 0.0 0 0.1 0 0.1 no so that's how to compute uh, the price derivative no uh, partnership there is a there is a difference between a strategic partnership and an integral partnership if there is a partnership that can move market it will be a partnership between Pfizer DHL Forex uh, uh, FedEx, uh, UPS, you know they are integral to the COVID-19 traceability solutions. Uh, partnership with, uh, more partnership with the American market as well as the West market and Europe market with this uh, China Asia Pacific product will uh, do wonder for the price of the BJ. Uh, XRP and a XRP plus XRP plus B chain partnership would also move the price of the B chain significantly. Uh, Coinbase plus B chain could also uh, move the price significantly high. Those are fundamentals in the price movement that we are likely to see. If that happen, this will really push the price in a parabolic curve towards that uh, level. Uh, there is also a, uh, a technical analysis of the V chain uh, at a shorter time frame by Jude Lopez, uh, who studies US and Indian market and a postgraduate in English literature with around four years of teaching experience but uh, these are my level it is true it is factual it has a basic of uh, what a technical analysis should be but there are no uh, actionable points as to what to do with these informations okay now uh, investors would like to see more of the, how they evaluate the financial instrument and what recommendations and actions they will have to take. I'd like you to look at this chart here and see this ascending triangle that we are, ascending channel rather, that we are talking about. This is where at 0 0.18 that uh, it has touched that level and it goes back to 0 0.16 right now at 0 0.17. Okay. Again, I'd like you to see this chart. Okay. For those who are in the long-term play of this financial instrument you would see that after the spring effect it has reached a high a higher level in the phase d of wolf uh wolfian uh, wykoffian uh, 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 uh trading strategy and then we see that we are around here looking to see to as high as 0 0.084 uh, price valuations and I see that this is really moving in that direction very quite positive and the same thing here if you look at this it can move parabolic to a level uh, as high as one dollar it can move sideways but the sentiments that it will move up higher by July 2021 we will reach that level and then again at this very crucial moment uh, of this V chain, we understand that for the long play, it has made a cup and angle pattern, and this is the price potential of this in a few months' time if all things go well. And another thing is, we are in the buy zones, and we have never left that in spite of the correction. So this is my. Um, technical analysis for the price of B chain and uh, hope you would have more to accumulate B chain because it has a very high potential reaching one dollar in
less than a year, all things will go well. Thank you. 